Good morning. We're inside this morning because uh, it's a little rainy and a little angry outside. So we decided to sit here and just uh, take a look at the ocean this morning. But I'm gonna read to you from Proverbs 17, verses nine through 11. It says, love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. A single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred lashes on the back of a fool. Evil people are eager for rebellion, but they will be severely punished. You know, these seem to be the verses that um, everyone who's kind of reading the one-year Bible with me and texting back and forth, uh, sharing verses that everybody kind of is focusing on this morning. But it's really interesting to hear different perspectives about these verses because these verses have been saying different things to different people. And so most of the people who text me back a verse, <clears throat> they've chosen these verses, but they've had very different things to say about them. And um, I've got some different things to say than what they've had to say this morning as well. Um, <clears throat> for me, when I read, uh, there are three things here that the Lord is saying to me. Now, let me note, um, he's not saying these to everyone else, but he's saying them to me, to me. And see, here's the danger. The danger in these verses is to read them thinking, I know what the Lord is saying to you. And it's easy to read verses and passages of scripture and say, mm -hmm, yeah, Lord, you say it. You tell them. You tell them exactly what you think about them. But this isn't about what the Lord is saying to them. It's about what he's saying to me, to you. So for me, here are the three things out of those verses. First of all, in verse 9, it says, Forgive so that love can flourish. I must forgive people. If I don't, then love in that relationship with them, love in my heart will be stifled. Now, Jesus had words to say about this. He said, forgive so that your Father in heaven will forgive you. Now, I know Jesus died on the cross. He paid for all my sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This verse says, though, love is going to be stifled if I don't forgive. Secondly, in verse 10, it says, rebuke so that fellowship can continue. Now, we don't think of rebuking people as something that's critically important for a relationship. But it says in verse 10, a single rebuke does more for a person of understanding than a hundred beatings on the back of a fool. Rebuking is one of the most difficult things to do in a relationship, but if we do it in love, if we correct people gently and lovingly, but know that we correct them based on the Word of God, it helps relationships flourish and grow. So I've got to rebuke. And then the last thing, verse 11, rebel against this, and I will be punished. Now this is the danger in verse 11. We read this and we say, evil people are eager for rebellion, but they will be severely punished. And we read this and think, yep, they're gonna be punished. They're gonna be punished. They're gonna be punished. But this is talking about me. If the Lord has told me to forgive and I don't forgive, if the Lord has told me to correct people with the Word of God and I don't correct them with the Word of God and rebuke them, I'm the one who's rebelling. I'm the one who will be punished. I'm the one that the Lord is speaking about here. The Lord isn't speaking about someone else's rebellion. It's speaking about mine. So, what do these verses say to me? Forgive faults. Rebuke in love. Rebel in this, and I'm going to be punished. It's really simple. Let me pray with you today. God, thank you for your word. You speak so simply and clearly, 
if I just take the time to listen. So Lord, today, help me to forgive faults. Help me to forgive others, even when they don't ask. Help me, Lord, to rebuke with your word, to correct in love, and not be afraid to do so. And Lord, help me not to rebel in this. And I pray this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Hey, thanks for your time this morning, friends. We'll do it again tomorrow. God bless you.